Hi everyone, it's me, Carrie from Sailing Reckless. I am home today, so I'm gonna do a video from home and I wasn't sure what to do, but I had a suggestion that maybe I should do a little bit of background about me and sailing sailboats, how I got into it, how long I've been doing it. Cause I've had some people ask me like, what is the coolest place that you've gone to? And honestly, I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I bought my first sailboat last year. I woke up on my birthday and I don't know why, I don't know how I came to it, but I wanted to buy myself a sailboat. And I'd never been on a sailboat. I've never known anybody to have a sailboat. I just had this feeling like that's, that's what it, it's what I needed. So I don't know if I was dreaming about sailboats or whatever that night. So that morning I got up and I came and I was sitting right here at my desk and I just got on Craigslist and started looking for boats for sale and I got in my car and started driving. I went, um, I live in Michigan, so I went down to Ohio, was the first place I stopped and I went to a couple of marinas and I didn't make like an appointment to go on a boat to see one because um, there wasn't anything that you know I was really that interested in um, down there but I saw a lot of different boats and while I was down there I found a boat that was on Lake St. Clair it, back in Michigan. I ended up meeting the guy I bought my first sailboat from the next day, the day after my birthday. It was raining. It was raining really bad. And he's like, are you sure you want to see this boat? It's raining. Um, and yes, I was sure. I wanted to see the boat. So um, we went out to the boat in the rain and I didn't have an umbrella. He had an umbrella. So we walked out and got on the boat and um, it was the first time I had stepped foot on a sailboat. And within five minutes I just told him I wanted to buy it so I know it's maybe weird but I'm gonna put my camera up by my computer so that I could just click through the pictures and show you my first boat okay so I'm just gonna flip through these pictures and honestly I have no idea what's coming up next so we'll see and this is at the marina where I bought it and I kept it all year and then my new boat I brought back to the same marina the inside looking out. Oh, there's me. The first time I hoisted the sail up or a sail up ever. The first time I ever touched um, the sheets on a sail to hoist. First time I ever saw a sail up. <laughs> so here's the inside. I put the stickers up wild and free. And that's so how I felt. I was going to name the boat wild and free but I sold it before I even gave it a name. But it had a nice size closet, had a TV, which I don't think I ever even tried to turn it on, honestly. I don't know how well TVs and boats go together. So I put a TV in the new boat just for once in a while. When I'm there alone, I don't even have it plugged in. But we had some good times on this little boat. It's so cute, I miss it so much. Okay, so here's pictures of my new boat and I think we'll just start at the beginning. That is the picture from Craigslist. Oh, you can't even see it. There's the back, the egress, and you can see the, all the peach on the deck. I guess it looks beige in these pictures. Um, it has solar fans, which are pretty cool. That's directly over the bed. When you turn the table into a bed and you can watch the stars that night when you lay down, it's really cool. There's the bathroom. There's that cute little whale faucet. I saw that and was like, ah, I gotta buy this boat. The bed with all the sails. It, the boat came with probably six extra sails. I don't even know what they are or what to do with them kitchen and the um, ladder to go out. This boat was filthy. We spent three days just cleaning it. But I kept the same upholstery. It's really itchy, but I'm gonna cover the, the seat cushions. Actually, I have my sewing machine on the boat. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. 
It kind of seems like more of a fall project now. Reckless. Love that sail cover. I don't know. So the guy that I bought it from, because the boat's name was The Egress, he wanted the sail cover. So he just found the sail cover somewhere and threw it on the boat. And I am so happy because I just don't think there's any better name for a sailboat for me than Reckless. I love it so much. Happy Leaf Erickson Day. It's an Erickson sailboat. <laughs> this is the day that I bought the boat. I took ownership of the boat. And see in this picture, you can see that it really looks peach. I couldn't wait to paint that. My, that's my daughter Callie. My first boat had rudder steering. This boat has a wheel. And there's me. I just found, a, I'm guessing it's a flag. I don't know what else it would be um, with the Ericsson logo. Callie wearing it as a hat. I love that picture. There I am just vacuuming. It is just so dirty. But this is the coolest little spot in the in the boat. I love this spot. It's actually the best place to sleep. Me and Callie doing a little photo shoot. With the mess when I was working. There's my bed now. I put a memory foam topper on it and it's wonderful. There it is in Cleveland, Ohio. I wasn't going to bring the big boat up in the fall. I was, I was just going to store it in, in Cleveland and get it in the spring. So that's what I did. So this spring I went down and guys, up. I have to, this chair, I'm telling you, I think I'm going to throw it in the garbage after I'm done with this video. I just stopped the video for a second and I completely forgot what I was telling you about. <laughs> the boat has this valve that got put on somewhere along the way that allows water to go up into the engine compartment. So if the valve's open, the engine can get the water it needs to cool the engine off. I don't think most sailboats are made like that. I think they're just, when you start them, whatever happens to allow the water to come in, well, this boat, you have to open the valve to let the water come in. And then when you shut the engine off, you have to shut the valve or the engine will flood with water. And then when you start it, you'll ruin it and blow the head gasket. Well, the valve got open. The valve was open and I started the engine. I, I should have checked it, but I didn't and it blew the head gasket. So this entire year, I have, since we got the boat back to Michigan, I've been working on getting the engine put back together. I was just trying to read a message that just came across on my phone. But anyway, uh, the I'm super proud of myself for taking the engine apart and putting new parts on and getting it put back together. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, I don't know if it's so much that I'm proud of myself, I, I think it's more like I'm proud of the boat and I can't wait to take it out. Since I got the engine started, I've been at the boat alone and I, don't, I haven't had anybody to take it out with me. And I, it's just, the, this, my first boat, my smaller boat, I could take out by myself and it was okay. Um, you know, coming back in was a little scary, docking it by myself. I always hated to do that, but I could do it. This boat is so much bigger and I'm just, I, I just am not taking it out by myself. The first time for sure, I have to get the docking thing down better before I can be confident to bring this big boat back in um, and dock it without ramming the dock and cracking the hull open or something terrible. Um, but you know, that will, that's just my goal for the end of the season to, to learn how to bring it in and dock it um, safely carefully, safely, properly. We'll see how that goes. I got this giant bruise on my arm from something. I don't know, some when I was working on the boat, probably when I was working inside the tiny little closet. That was a nightmare. I need to get a product to redo the, I don't even know what it's called, the thing up top that this, 
the thing up top that the thing hooks to. You know, the, you got the mast and the sail and the lines. The thing that the side stay attaches to on the deck of the boat, that's leaking. So I need to take that off and I think I saw this product that is just like a, an adhesive and you put that on and then you put the thing and bolt the thing back on. I'll talk to the guys at West Marine. They're great. So I'll just... <laughs> God. Maybe if I sit backwards on it. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it's so comfortable. Um, so that's what I'll be doing this weekend. Yay, fun. Still need to get the blue stripe on the other side of the boat painted. I've just been kind of putting that off because I got to paint from the kayak and I am not looking forward to that job. Me and my bangs, me and my bangs situation. I need to get some blonde put in that. Like you guys care about my hair problems. I feel like I did a terrible job telling you about the boats, but I should probably start kind of writing down what I want to talk to you about when I make these videos. Somebody actually suggested that I make a couple videos in advance. Um, so then I don't have to, I'm not like in a rush to make a video and edit it and get it put out because it's been hard. It's been really hard. So like it's pretty late right now and I will still have to edit this video before I can put it on YouTube. So. So I should probably do that. But the cool thing is, like, you get to see right away what I did. It's almost like I'm going live. That's how soon after I make these videos you get to see them. So I guess that's kind of cool. Or does it doesn't matter. I, it probably doesn't even matter. Who cares when I made them? I should probably take, like, a little bit of a break. I should probably say, hey, I'm going to go on a vacation for a week and not do any videos. So absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? You'll just miss me and then you'll want to see my videos when I start making videos. I'm a genius. Ah, if only. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Next video, I will be working on the boat. So until then, check this out. I spilled water while I was doing this video.